and we're back. K1 World Grand Prix 2018 Japan. First ever event held at the Edian Arena Osaka. 8,000 screaming fans here, ready for some action. From these two young guys. In the red corner, we've got Miku Ampo. In the blue, Tayo Asahisa. Getting ready to go to battle. I'm Brian. I'm Phil. Let's get this party started. Interesting matchup here. Bit of a fight of the younger brothers. Okay. We've got going on um, here in Niku Ampo. We've got Nukia Ampo's younger brother. And then in the blue corner, Hirotaka Asahisa's younger brother. Tayo. Asahisa. Okay. Let's see what's inspired between these two younger guys. Nice. Both these guys, a bit of a, not a bit, a lot of a karate background. So what some, should be uh, what you're expecting from a karate background fighters? Well, I think we'll see sharp, hand, sharp hands on both of these guys. Um, stiff low kicks, low as blow, well, ooh, low blow, as well as good high kicks. I'm not even surprised to see some good high kick action there. That was not high, however. That was low. <laughs> that was low. That one was low. Oosh. And... Ooh. Effective, but not in the cave ring uh, bout. <laughs> yeah. You think that one tickled? Well? Oh, no. That, uh, that did not tickle <laughs> at all. Oh, boy. <laughs> yep, going to need some time to recover from that one. And she will take. And then we will commence the action again. I've been on the receiving end of a similar move to the lower area once. Oh, my God. God. Did not tip. Were you down for the count? <laughs> I was down. <laughs> but I end up winning the fight. Let's see if uh, Ampo can be seen. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, there's that high kick. Counter. Ooh, and a down or a slip? A slip. Yeah, there's a bit of that real, real low inside. <clears throat> Almost like a sweep. He's still keeping it a kick, though. Yeah. Really effective there. Uh, yeah, I know. Fancy footwork. Really poignant punches and blows at both these guys. Ooh. Super featherweight fighters. You can see the sort of the, the snap from the knee and the hip on the kick. Karate style here. Real sharp, snappy strikes. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be a low kick, a mid kick, or a high kick. It's really deceiving. Both fighters exchanging tons of blows. Yeah, great. Great power from both these guys. Yeah, the measuring the distance, using the rear legs, the front kick, the lead leg. Ooh, wow, good combo. But I said he's a. And it's sharp inside low. He takes it low to the. Calf almost like a sweep, puts it above the knees. Dead knees. Dead knees. Dead knees. Slow his opponent. Sneak the ampo down. He's a good head movement, too. In K1, you see these guys with chronic backgrounds, but they do their homework. They've got great boxing skills, good head yeah. movement. They are very adept with their hands. Ooh. Ooh, these guys are really elusive there, hard, yeah. to, hard to hit in the head. When someone's using their head well like that, they're going to have uh, better luck going down to their body. Because they can't do that with their body. They keep going for the head, they're just going to end up swinging it in the head. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. What a clash. That's a piece of really good movement by Asahisa. Mm. Um, fortunately, he had that low blow. Um, uh, that might have lost him some points. Does that lose you points? Uh, no. It's pretty, it's pretty accidental, so okay. I don't think so. But you never want to see that. No. I'm not sure you want to do that either. Really, really sharp um, technique. I really like what he's doing. Ooh. The That's inside. Oh, yeah, the front kick there. He goes high very nicely. And finishing off. Yeah, really great. Un unbalancing uh, Riku Ampo there, so he can't counter. 
great move. You finish with that inside low kick, you're going to put yourself in a good position to not receive a counter. Yeah. Umpo here uh, choosing to stand up and give his instructions. Well, second round, out with the last. Round two! And here we are. Ooh. Ooh, axe kick. Yeah, don't axe see that. Kick. You don't see that often. Okay, one. Oh, oh, yeah. oh she. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, really sharp. Andy Hug making those things back in the day. Ooh, nice kick. Ooh, and another front kick. He's going high very well. He's got a good arsenal upstairs and downstairs. Mm. Being real patient, keeping his guard up, watching, looking for those opportunities, and just roasting Ooh, the inside. Maybe he's <laughs> what was that, man? Yeah, there you go. Asahisa. <laughs> Getting creative. <laughs> Ooh, and still sticking to that. Inside low kick, great technique. If you get close, you might even see him knee that portion of Ampo's leg. Oh, he, he, right, and it looks like Asahisa has Ampo's number. That's right, you know, and not from lack of trying. Ampo's doing a great job staying busy and throwing power. Ooh, it was just, just a step ahead in the chess, chess game. Oh. Yep, you can't. Too much of a sweep, though. You gotta make sure it's a strike. Yeah, the slipper is uh, Ampo a little damaged in his leg. His inside of his lead, lead leg has got to be tenderized. Ooh, and there we go again. Chop that. Yeah, he's. Ooh, Ooh and the knee. There was the knee. Yeah. Yeah. Those karate Silas love that attack, and it's really effective. Oof. His head movement is yeah, another low blow. Yeah. Not intentional. That's what happens when you open that inside the kick every now and then. Goes astray. Unfortunately. Yeah. And that is tough. To have to come back from it. No doubt. That was right on the money. <laughs> hopefully he's got enough time to fully recover and get right back on it. Looks good with the jab and the lead hook there to start things off. Jab, jab, jab. Jab, jab, jab. Jab, jab, jab. I love some of the old school looks with the guard that Asis has given us. He's doing almost some George Foreman-esque cross guard occasionally, which is just fun to see. Watch some of these 52 block videos on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and sneaking in the high kick up there. Well, we got a low kick. This is a sweep. Really, yeah, really interesting uh, punching, head movement, and guard work. Yeah, lots of little blows, unfortunately. Yes. Um, yeah. That's going to be a good Well, yeah, I mean, at some point, um, even though it's accidental, you can't keep rocking your opponent below the belt. The old karate style, yeah. kneeling. He realizes, yep, yeah, exactly. Another, another sign of his karate background there. I don't think it's intentional, but I get those kicks either down to the target or up to the target, yeah. not in the nether region. Yeah. Hey, just, yeah. yep, just enough to, whoa, with the good head movement after, but pulled his strike short there when he realized it was going to be a blow. The Japanese, the golden ball. That's right. They do, it's your right. Ooh, nice check. He's, he's got a great arsenal of kicks 
and he defends the kick as well. Really, really nice leg work from Kyle Yeah, very surprising. Um, usually, in these fights, the uh, karate background fighters have been kind of a very traditional mm -hmm. uh, formal fighting style, but Asakisa seems to be doing all kinds of movements and, and uh, his, his, his hand game mm -hmm. also very interesting. No, you're totally right. Um, just has, he's just got a kind of a unique style. He's blending a few different things here off that karate base and yeah, sticking with it, using the cross guard every now and then, moving his head. Throwing the the front kick up high, defending well. Hey, I'm really impressed. And and you know, we're talking a lot about uh, see, see, Rodrigo Ampo is doing a great job. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, no doubt, and suffering these low blows, yeah. which is which is difficult. Rosie, to do, but, you know, we have to add that to the equation. Yeah. I'm really impressed with uh, so this is style here. See it. Counter sharp little fan. I'm loving these exchanges. Sometimes choosing to check the kick, sometimes almost eating it on purpose to throw back. And then you see the hook with the heel there. Another trademark karate technique. Doing all sorts of damage to that front leg, yeah. whether it be with knees, hooking with the heel, the kick. You see, it's going to make people not want to step in. Ooh, maybe mm, enough to get him to change his stance even if it's, it's real bad. Yeah. So it's controlling the distance between them the entire fight. Yeah. He never gives. Never lets he could get away with a free shot. He always gives something back. Yeah. Even if he hasn't checked a kick, he's going to come back with him. Ampo knows it. And Ampo is giving an amazing. Turn. Ooh! Ooh, and he's just keeping his head up nicely, not ducking down into that thing. He's got some great, great one, two, three action going on as well. I like his left hook. Make just a little better use of it here. Okay, nice clean hit. It's that cross guard action yeah. from Kyle that you just rarely see that's really blocked, defending his chin well. Yeah. When you see the cross guard, it's a time to go to the body. He's got to change up the angle and bring that lift hook downstairs maybe for a little better luck. Oh, he's fighting out, yeah. not clinching, following the K1 rule set to a T. Ampo's made of steel. Ampo has taken a lot of heavy hits, but he's, yeah. he's still returning his best, but his, yeah, his lead leg. You see really damage there. A little more traditional action and pace here. Blasting away. 45 seconds left in the run. Arthur really needs to do something big. Yes, he does. Ooh, ooh, okay. oh, just, just on the better side of these exchanges. Ooh, and finishing with a nice strong. Switching stances there, I guess that was more of a left, left straight than a jab. Hard to tell with such fast footwork. Ooh, Ooh and then hit the liver with the left leg there too. That's gonna slow him, slow Ampo down. Ooh, again. And chopping and chopping. Wow. Really impressive two. action. Ooh, Asahisa is sharp yeah. as they come. Great Ooh. shot there. Stick on the middle. Oh, I don't know what he was thinking. Oh, there. He's ready for more, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, excellent, excellent performance by both fighters. Yeah, I think I see this. Uh, oh, yeah, he, he looked great there. Yeah. I am excited uh, for this kid's future. Yeah. Really unique, uh, you know, style. He, he's doing a lot of different things yeah. in there. Yeah. Particularly that, that interesting cross guard. Right? You see more of that. Years old, about to see more food. I know, I certainly hope so. Well, let's see what the judges have to say.
ジャッジ山根三十対二十六青朝日さんジャッジ山崎三十対二十六青朝日さんジャッジ豊永三十対二十八青朝日さん以上判定三対零をもちまして勝者アンコーラーアンコーラー Yeah, you called it as well, Brian. Amazing battle. Yeah.、Um, both amazing fighters. But,、uh, yeah, Asahisa.、Um, he's just a better fighter today in the ring. You just got these tough, young Japanese dudes climbing the ranks here in Japan with awesome skill sets. And it's only here in K1 that you can see this action. That's right. That's right. Really, really nice fight. So、I'm sure we'll definitely see more of Asahisa in the future, and I'm sure, I'm sure his brother is proud of him to,、uh, today. Oh, yes. Ooh, the Ooh, just showing what he could do. Yeah, if he wanted. I'm going to show a little bit of that flash and that flair. Well, hey, that's, gonna, <laughs> that's the kind of charisma we like to see out、yeah. of these, these young fighters. Just smooth. And in great fashion, getting the win. Yeah, and there you have it for the super featherweight fight. See you next time.